What's going on guys? Back at it again with another Fallout 3 video. In this one we're going to be exploring uh, the little lamplight caverns which uh, is where we're at right now. This is the entrance. We just barely made it in here. And so I kind of want to go around and talk to everyone and see what uh, what this place is all about and if we have time we're gonna progress in the storyline so we'll see what ends up happening by the end of this video so if you're excited for this one do me a huge favor drop a like on this video also subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed because it really does help this channel grow so with that being said let's get on with it all right let's talk to this little girl first knock hey, knock are we letting mongos in now didn't hear a scuffle so i'm guessing you're some sort of guest so what's so cool about you fancy pants I don't know, I'm pretty this shit. For you to get let in, see? Yep, I'm pretty much like the best thing that ever happened. Uh, I'm from 101, I'm from Vault 101 and rescued some of your friends from the slavers. Oh, that was you? <laughs> nice work. I hope you got some good laughs out of it before you left. Gotta make sure they know not to try that again. Speaking of which, I'm Knock Knock. And I take care of the general morale around here. Which is to say, I collect a lot of stories. And sometimes trade them to keep the others amused. Morale's better than less Al, see? <laughs> so stupid. More Al's? That's funny. Um, I really needed to get to Vault 87. Do you know the way by any chance? We don't go there. It's bad back there. Ask the mayor if you really want to know. So you said you were in charge of more Al's, not less Al's. But what does that mean? Well, technically, I'm patrolling and keeping the peace. Mostly, that involves making sure people are happy and not getting into trouble. You can't very well keep the peace if you've already lost it, see? So, bam. Joke. Wanna hear one? Sure, why not? Let's go. Prepare to be amused. Knock, knock. Uh, who's there? No one. Uh... No, I'm not gonna say that'll be fucked up. Uh, no who? Know a place where I can get some food? Um. No, I'm not gonna say that. Uh, that was hysterical. Whoa! You really think so? Like, actually funny? Can you convince other folks to find them funny? Actually, most of our jokes are from an old book we found in the vault called Vault Boy's Big Book of Laughs for Kids. They're not really funny, but something about hearing them is a little comforting, you know? You know what? If Bethesda came out with a Vault Tech's big book of laughs, I'll probably buy it just for the hell of it. Seems like an interesting concept. Uh, why don't you come up with new jokes or stories to tell? Oh, we've got lots of funny incidents. Like when Sammy shot the raider who thought he was a girl. That sort of stuff. But we don't really get a lot of new stories from outside. Scav team spend all their time hidden, so they don't get much news, see? I'd sure like to hear more tales from the great big outdoors myself. Actually, if you hear any, feel free to tell me. Uh, I've got a tell I could tell you. Oh, really? Tell me about it. Um. Hmm. Alright, it's uh, not long ago my father left me, so I went searching for him. So you're like a three-legged dog then? Looking for your lost paw? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, what happened Stupid next? as hell. Alright, uh, let's see. Uh, I finally, fuck you. Uh, I finally found my dad. Hold on, let me see. Yeah, we'll go with that one. I finally found my dad, but he died protecting me and in his, uh, in his life's work. Wow, that's some crazy bad timing. I mean, that is to say, I'm really sorry to hear about your loss. So, what happens next? Um, I'll tell you more, but I'm still working on how it that ends. That makes sense, I suppose. A good story can take a while to put together, you know. We need to come back at some point and tell her the whole story. Uh, so why are you called Knock Knock? Well, when people started calling Nikki by his new name, I needed one too, see? If you're twins, it just doesn't cut it to be called Nick Knack and Sue. But if you're Nick Knack, you could potentially have a cousin called Patty Whack. 
and there's plenty of dogs around, you could probably just give them bones. I don't know. It's an interesting concept. But can you give me directions? To where, man? Canada. Uh, where can I find a doctor? You know that office building near the entrance? Nope. When Lucy's at work in there, she's the one who patches this up. Okay. Do you have a trader in town? There's a souvenir shop just north of the entrance. That's where Knickknack sells whatever else we can't use. Check there. Cool. Uh, where can I get some food? Right here. Welcome to our fungus pool. Eat up. Ew. Sounds gross. Uh, I'm looking for Vault 87. Can you help me find it? You can only get there through Murder Pass. And we keep guards there to keep the little kids out. But if you want to have a look, it's north of the souvenir shop. Wait a minute. I just thought about this. If Little Lamplight is nothing but kids, how do they, for lack of better words, replenish their kids if they kick out everybody when they become adults? Kind of disturbing, if you ask me. Alright, thank you, Knock Knock. Uh, I guess. <laughs> hey, hey, what's up, McCready? Shut up, McCready. Nothing new to tell me. Alright, let's go in here. Maybe not Knick Knack or whatever. Excuse Bumble. Me. Whoa, I've never seen a Mungo so close. She's cute. Are you a raider? Or a slaver? Or a mutant? Because if you are, I'm supposed to go hide. Because I'm too young to use a gun yet. Very, that's good. Um, I'm not any of those, actually. I'm a vault dweller. At least I was when I was your age. Did you live in the old vault below? I thought nobody lives down there now because it was full of monsters. Mayor doesn't let us go down there because when they went, they didn't come back. You don't look like someone who didn't come back, so maybe you didn't come from there. Uh, why do they call you Bumble? It's just the name, okay? Not my fault I knocked stuff over. Lucy says I still got a lot of growing to do. Um, can you give me directions? I don't know. I still get lost sometimes. Things are really big. Uh, looks like she tells me the same stuff, so see you later, Bumble. Is there anybody else in here? I mean, we got a bed. Oh, there's a hollow tape in here. Journal of Carrie Delaney. Journal of Delaney number two. So we got two. Let's listen to this. My name is Carrie Delaney. I teach fourth grade at the Early Dawn Elementary School in Washington, D.C. Yesterday, October 23rd, 2077, half the school went on a field trip to Lamplight Caverns. We were packing up to leave when... When everything went crazy, the cave started shaking, the lights went out, the kids started screaming. My God! Mr. Pollock went outside to see what was going on. When he came back in, he told us what he saw. Clouds. Mushroom clouds. It finally happened. The end of the world. Aww. All right, let's listen to the second one. We're all okay. If you can call being stuck in a cave with 82 terrified kids okay. Alive, anyway. I don't know what the hell we're going to do. It's been four days. Claudia went out this morning to look around and never came back. Then Mr. Cobb went out to look for her and he never came back. So now there's only me, two other teachers, two of the parents who were chaperoning, and a few of the cavern staff. And all these poor kids. We've got enough food and water to last for a while, I guess. But after that, I just don't know. We can't stay in here forever. Can we? Nope. Damn, that sucks. So we know now how the uh, caverns got, um, I guess, taken over by children. But what happened to the Delaney chick? At some point, she had to have like died or abandoned these kids or something, right? But eighty something children, dude, in this place, that was left 
by themselves. That's insane. Uh, there goes McCready, Souvenirs, That Way, uh, Splendors, The Great Chamber. Uh, let's go this way first. We'll follow Mr. McCready. Hey. Shut up. All right, let me see here. Oh, we found the way to Murder Pass. All right, let's uh, go in here. I want to I wanna check out these areas first. Nothing in here. This is literally just a crapper. All right, let's check out this place up top. It's bound to be something over here. Ah, stuck. So this should be knickknack, right? Watch it. Shut up. Are we ready, Mungo's in now? Didn't hear any shots, so I'm guessing you're not here to raid us. And if you're not here to raid us, you might just have brought something cool for us. See? So who are you, and how'd you get let in? Um, you're a little cutie, aren't you? With your little hat and everything. Uh, I'm actually from Vault 101, and uh, I rescued some of your friends from those slavers. Well, that was you. Nice work. I hope one of you grabbed some of their gear before you left. Gotta make them pay for something like that. Speaking of which, I'm Nick Nat, and I take care of the general store around here. Which is to say, I collect a lot of stuff, and sometimes trade it for other stuff. That's pretty much a store, see? Why are you called Knickknack? Well, my name was Nick, and I collect knickknacks. Not everything has to be real complex, see? Yeah, I mean, I agree. Uh, he can repair? Let's see what his repair skill sure, is. Sure, let me see that thing. 15. Not very good. <laughs> I mean, I guess I'll... No, I only have 35 caps. No, I'm good. Um... Can you give me directions? Do you have Trader Town? I'm at my treasure trove in the souvenir shop. I sell whatever you're looking for. All right. Well, let's. I can't. He doesn't have. Oh. All right. Let's trade. I hope you brought me some cool stuff. Let's see what he has. I mean, he's got combat helmets, so that's pretty interesting. Um, electron packs, energy cells, laser pistol, microfusion cells, Raider Arc Light helmet. I've always liked this helmet, but it's not really worth it, right? Okay, stim packs. All right, you have nothing fantastic. Nice meeting you, Knickknack. Uh, all right, let's get out of here. There's nothing nothing interesting in here Let's go towards murder pass. We're not going to leave if we can leave. We're not going to I just want to check out the area. Maybe there's some new NPCs Children of course that we'll be able to find what's up Rex. I think you're in the wrong fallout game Um, Empty empty Who's this little girl? What Princess Letting a damn mongo like you in here. So who are you working with? Raiders? Slavers? Mutants? Answer up, mongo. Neither, homegirl. Chill. The mayor let me in because I rescued some of your friends, all right? Oh, you think Sammy and the rest wouldn't have gotten back on their own eventually? I taught them better than that. Well, if you're sticking around, you ought to know that I'm princess and I call the shots around here. And don't forget it, mongo. Well then. Uh, so what's it like guarding the back gate? It's so dull. Practically nothing ever tries to come through the back gate anymore, so I never get to shoot anyone. I wish I was at the front gate, but RJ specifically put me back here. Up front, at least there's a chance I can shoot some unwanted visitors. Which could have included you, Mungo. Relax, girl, damn. Uh, why would you have a shot at me? Could have been a lot of reasons. Maybe you sounded like a monster in all that darkness. Maybe you had a weapon drawn and looked like a raider. Maybe I just decided I didn't like your stupid Mungo face. Well, she's a little aggressive. Um, so tell me, how did a girl like you end up with a name like Princess? She don't sound like one. I need to explain myself to you, Mungo. See? Shut up and get lost. In fact. Don't you ever bother me about something as stupid as nicknames again. She's aggressive. <laughs> She's aggressive. 
Directions? No, scram. Um, I'm leaving. Get back to garden. Well, thank goodness you gave me permission, jerk. She is feisty, man. Damn. She's definitely not a princess. I'll, unless it's one of those sarcastic names, like a little short person named Tiny. I mean, uh, like a big person named Tiny. Um, all right, let's go around this way. And then we have to go around to go towards the big chamber. Didn't we just pass this dog? Oh, no, this is a different one. This one's called Hooligan. So we got Rex and Hooligan. Food. Is this Nick? Uh, knock, knock. There we go. It is. Oh, look, there's a kid wearing a top hat. All right, let's turn this off. You. Okay. RJ had better have a good reason to let you in. Because right now, all I'm seeing is a Mungo who's here to take our food and screw us over. I'm trying to pronounce his name. Eclair? I'm assuming. Uh, the mayor let me in for rescuing those kidnapped kids. Oh, great. Maybe next he'll take in a death claw or something. And he'll make it the town mascot. But anyway, yeah. Thanks for bringing them back in one piece. Maybe now they'll learn to be more careful out there. If you need what passes for food down here, look me up. Name's Eclair. If you so much as snicker, I'll carve you up for steaks. Um, where do you get food for, for this place? Honestly, when we can't scavenge some from outside, we mostly scrape it off the walls and skim it off the water. No, really. Most of our food comes from fungus that grows in these caves. It's not so bad when you get used to it. And we don't have much choice. At least it's filling. So we don't have to eat much of it. But man, oh man, it tastes terrible. Where does the cup, uh, fungus come from? It's pretty hard to find. And I hear it doesn't grow in other caves. I don't know why it's here, but without it, we'd be goners. Think fungus just grows on trees? No, it grows in caves. Ugh. Knock Knock came up with that one once, and now it's stuck in my head forever. <laughs> it doesn't take any work to get it to grow down here. All I have to do is collect and prepare it. Mostly, I try to get the stink off it. So how does the fungus grow exactly? They say the fungus grows in the pool where the first lamplighters dumped the mungos. That's about the most they ever help with. I don't know how true that is. But I know sometimes the scab team comes back with this strange meat that tastes terrible, but the fungus loves it. I don't know where they find that meat, but if you could bring some back, I'd be glad to trade fungus for it. Of course, McCready'd have to okay it. Um, well, I guess that's all I need to know for now. Sure. Oh, uh, why are you called e Eclair? Well, I didn't get the nickname for being fat and full of cream, if that's what you're asking. Back when I was on the scab team, I found some pages from an old cookbook. Sometimes I'll try them out. Just for the record, don't try making an eclair out of cave fungus. The taste sticks with you, and not in a good way. Oh, okay. Um... I'd like some food. Sure thing, Mungo. We don't have much to spare, so get ready to pay. Damn, he's got a lot of food. Pugna food? I don't know what Pugna food is, but alright. Um, I'll let you get back to food. About time, man. This mold isn't getting any tastier. I like this kid. He looks cool with his top hat and everything. Anything over here? Uh, the Great Chamber. Tracking. What? Looks like all roads lead here. Hey, wait, who are you? You're just a little lamplighter? Lucy! Who are you? What are you doing in here? Um, I'm a guest in town. May McCready, uh, McCready let me in for rescuing your friends. You said Penny and Sammy and Squirrel? I did. I can see why RJ let you in. Thanks for all of us. I'm Lucy, and I pretty much spend my days playing mommy around here. I spend a lot of time kissing boo-boos and making things better. If you get a scraped knee or stubbed toe, come see me. Same if you get shot in the face or burns all over. But I can only promise so much. So she's the doctor. Um. 
No, um... How do you keep healthy here? There's always one big sister or another who knows her way around a compress and a sewing needle. So, we take care of most of the little streaks. And way back when, someone figured out that some of the plants and fungus around here absorb radiation. The little ones don't like to eat their veggies, but they don't like to be sick either. So, we get by. Oh, okay. Um, so you're the only doctor in this whole place? Well, we all know the basics. Combat first aid, you know? But I've got the most experience at the tough stuff. Bumble's been learning the most about the more complex parts of cutting and sewing. People tease her, but she's got a steady hand. Of course, now she just needs to learn what you do and don't cut. So Bumble's gonna end up being a, a doctor, possibly. That's cool. Uh, that sounds like pretty useful fungus. It is, especially for dealing with the low-level radiation we all get from the water. The fungus just soaks it right up. But it doesn't help the rickets that keep hitting the younger lamplighters. Believe it or not, I can make a treatment for that from extract of buff out. Actually, if you can talk McCready into it, I'd be glad to trade some fungus for buff out. But he'd have to say it was okay. This little girl's a freaking genius. That's all I need yeah. to know. Uh, let's see if there's anything else. Um, directions? Yeah, yeah that's me. I'm only on duties when I'm in the office. Alright. You're good. Um, yep, later. And yeah, me too, I guess. Lucy is a little genius, isn't she? I like her. Haha, <laughs> I'm beating you. Gave up already, little girl? Shake my head. Why is everyone running around here? That's what I want to know. Oh, look, another dog? Man, how many dogs are in this place? What is this one called? Mutt face. And then who's this? Rex again. Alright, that one's dog meat. Look at that, there's another dog right here. How many dogs are in this place? That's crazy. Petey, or Pete. I can, I feel like dog meat's just gonna get in my way a lot. Ginger. Oh, that's that one little girl again. I saw a little boy running. I don't know where he went though. That's Lucy that I just saw running down there. Where is the little boy? He was wearing a white shirt. Oh, he's way over there. Come back. Come here, little boy. I want to talk to you. I want to get to know you. If I'm going to be visiting this place. Damn. Well, now, here's something new. What's a grown-up like you doing in Little Lamplight? Don't tell me McCready's going soft on us. Uh, Mayor McCready let me in for rescuing those kids. That was you? Well, my most sincere thanks, Min. You brought my sister Penny back to me. Oh, I cool. Ask more than that. I'm Joseph. And if there's ever anything I can do for you, just name it. As the oldest kid in town, I spent most of my time teaching. But I do what I can to keep the kids clean and fresh faced. Say, if you're ever looking for a haircut, I'd be glad to offer my services. You only have to ask. That's really cool, dude. Uh, what sort of education do you kids get in here? Well, back at the start, all the children had were the notes from the grown-ups that hadn't left yet. And a few books on caves from the store. But after finding the vault, a few scavengers brought back hollow tapes for basic schooling. Reading, basic math... Encyclopedias, that sort of thing. We don't get many books anymore from the scav team, but I make sure to keep my own notes on the computer for whoever takes over after I leave. So, what do the uh, what do you teach the kids? Mostly whatever they want to learn. We don't have strict classes or anything down here, but it does mean they're interested in what I'm teaching. But everyone learns the basics of fighting and shooting and survival. We've all got obvious reasons to be interested in that. How uh, thorough are your teachings? Uh, uh, are your teaching materials? We entered all of the books and hollow tapes into the computer, but frankly, there are a lot of important subjects the Bolt's material didn't cover. I could wish for more, but we're probably still the best school in the wasteland. Maybe the only school in the wasteland, really. That's crazy. All right. Uh, thank you. Glad I could help. 
Um, directions? Yeah, I didn't think there was gonna be anything. All right, let me see. Uh, I have to go now. Stay sharp. I'm glad I saved his little little boy's uh sister. Oh, that's Bumble again. All right, where's that other little boy? Oh shit! I thought I was gonna die. He ran this way. No, come here. I see you, kid. I see you. You won't get away from me. Ha! Stay away, oh, he's Lido. all. I don't want to catch old. <laughs> what the fuck? I chased him this whole time just to find out he wasn't even uh, a named NPC. Alright. Is that everybody? Did we already talk to everybody in the, in the little lamplight? I feel like there's more. I don't know why. What time is it anyways? It's still morning. All right, we've already spoken to her and her. That might actually be everybody. These little kids are really active. All they do is run around. All right, there's nothing in here. We should check all these little corners and stuff like that. You never know, man. There might be somebody in there. Excuse me, excuse me, kids. Uh, I don't want you guys to catch old. Oh, there goes McCready again. I think this is where I... I think that's where I came from. And then we saw the... The thing over there. The dog, I mean. Alright, let me check this. Wait, hold on. All right, so this isn't the way. This place is pretty big and confusing. All right, there we go. Oh, there's a kid asleep. Let's talk to this guy. In the middle of the day, Bewey? Hello, I'm Bewey. Welcome to Widow Wamplight. <laughs> yeah. You look like you're handy with the weapon. I got kicked off the scab team. So I guess I don't need mine anymore. Wanna buy my Wazer Wifo? 500 cap and it's all yours. Oh my god, I love this little boy. <laughs> uh, damn, I don't have... For a Wazer Wifo, dude? That's from Fallout 4 too, man. Um, But of course it started here. Uh, I'm a little short on cash, Billy. 500 caps? Um, maybe I'll regret this, but how did you get your nickname? Bewey. Nickname? What are you talking about? Never mind. Uh, I don't want to insult him. So we need to get 500 caps somehow. How many caps do I have? 35. All right, so let's go. Let's go sell some stuff, and we'll come back and sell and, and uh, come buy the Wazer rifle for for from him. All right, so we should be good. Let's go ahead and talk to Bowie. He's still in the same corner, so. Hello, Mister. All right. Uh, you said you were selling the Wazer rifle. Five hundred caps for a laser rifle. All right, it's a deal. Thanks a lot. Bye now. Hell yeah, dude. And we got a laser rifle. Is it even a good weapon? Uh, let's go down. Laser rifle. There it is. Um, damage twenty five. How much is the DPS though? I'm not sure. So this does twenty five. Uh, and this does 41. This does a lot more damage. I like the way this looks on my back better, though. I think we'll keep this for a while and see how it works. Is that everybody here, though? I'm not entirely sure. Oh, this is the... Sorry. Alright. Let's go find McCready. 
I need to find a way to get him to let me through to murder pass. Unless there's something that I need to do. There goes Hooligan again. There might be something I need to do in order to get him to open up the back gate. I really want to know. Uh, where could he be? I'm not sure. Um, McCready. What's this over here? Do, is this, what is this place? Well, that's interesting. Terminal is not powered and it requires key. This might be an alternate way to get to murder pass. But to be honest, it kind of looks like it's a direct entrance to the vault. Get out of the way, Rex. Let's go find McCready. McCready would know something about all of this. I'm sure. So he's not in here, I don't think. So let's go back to the main chamber area. I gotta say though, this place looks freaking amazing. Alright, so it's not here. Gotta find McCready, man. He's gotta be somewhere around here. McCready! Where are you at? McCready's gone. Alright, well, we came in through over here, so he should be somewhere over here. Care to talk? Wait, who are you? Oh, that's Joseph. Well, let's talk to this dude really quick, man. You never know. Maybe he knows something. What's happening? Um, no. Okay. Well, I mean, maybe McCready. I think McCready would know something, man. He is the mayor of Little Lamplight, after all. Oh, there he is. Why are you standing on a freaking table, McCready? You may be a mayor, but come on now. Why are you still pestering me, you moron? Shut up. Oh, wait. I've heard a lot about the fungus in your cavern. I'd like to make a deal. Yeah, I'll bet you've heard all about the fungus in my cavern. Yeah, the cave fungus. Sure. It's good for food and medicine. And it's the main fucking reason we've stayed alive down here. So, you want a slice of that gray-green gold, huh? I think maybe we could come to an arrangement. What are you offering? Mmm... Uh, I bring in uh, needed supplies and get some of the fungus in return. I don't want to say that. Uh, let me think about it. All right, let me try this. You're right, and we'll just trust you to bring us plenty of clean food and medicine, not try to poison us and move in on your own. No, no deal, Mongo. This is our fungus, and we haven't gotten enough to share with freaks like you. Come on. Stop being a dick. Alright, uh... Oh, fuck it. We're gonna say the other thing. You must think I'm Damn it. <laughs> Can I try it again? Hold on. No. No deal, Mongo. Yeah, I'll bet you've heard all about the... Yeah, the cave fungus. Sure. So. Um... <laughs> make a decision. All right, so maybe Lucy has something. For knowing you're around. Um, no, she doesn't know anything. What about knock knock? Hey, did you hear the one about the ridiculous Mungo who? Oh wait, um, never mind. She was about to talk shit about me. Maybe this guy has something to say. Hey, what's up? Damn it. 
So, I'm not sure how to progress. I know we have to bring some sort of supplies, so we'll probably end up doing that soon. Uh, but, it looks like we've already discovered all of Little Lamplight. Talk to all of the NPCs. Unless I miss somebody, I'm not entirely sure. But, uh, we're probably going to leave it here for this video. In the next video, we're definitely going to... Uh, Find a way into Murder Pass and then continue from there. So if you enjoyed this video, do me a huge favor. Drop a like on this video. Also subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Because it really does help this channel grow. So with that being said, catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.